I'm here to, uh, and I thank God and I give God all the glory to reach that one that people look down on, um, maybe not even understand. Amen, Bishop. Yeah, amen. And we had a wonderful time, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. Amen. And the people had a wonderful time. They did. God loves you. You yeah. don't have to stay in that state of depression. We're here today and we have a living witness, a yes. living testimony. Pray that somebody's heart be touched. We just want to let you know through testimony time that we serve a real God. wants to continue to do a great work. Yeah. Stop the church. Yes, Lord. Till the seed should come to whom the promise was made. Read it. It was handed and ordained by angels in the hand of the meteor, the, the meteor, till the sea should come. No saints of God, that sea has come. It's here. It's coming. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's an incorruptible seed. Amen. It's not a corruptible seed, but it's an incorruptible seed. It has come. Hallelujah. It's here. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. It's in this room right now. I'll go further than that. It's in your belly right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, that seed has come. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. 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 It's not any old kind of seed. We're talking about an incorruptible seed. Yes, Lord. An undefiled seed. Hallelujah. It has come. Get me uh, 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Amen. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. We're just laying the groundwork for this 10 part series. I'm going to be before you much longer. Just laying the groundwork. We're going to go more in depth as we go along. 2 Corinthians, the fourth chapter. We're going to start reading at the seventh verse. The question is, what is this seed that should come? That's a profound question. What is this seed? Hallelujah. What did he say in the seventh verse? But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not in us and not of us. This seed is the treasure we have in earthen vessels. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen very carefully. Inside of this seed is the entire life that Jesus lived yes. while he walked this earth for 33 years. Yes, God. yes you heard me right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I said it. Inside of this incorruptible seed is the entire life that Jesus lived when he walked this earth for 33 years. Yes. Wrapped up in this seed. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. What do you mean, preacher? His obedience. His fruits of the Spirit. His relentless prayer life. His power, his signs, hallelujah, his wonders, his miracles, his mighty deeds. Inside of this seed is his knowledge and expertise of how to defeat the enemy. Inside of the seed is his divine nature, according to 2 Peter, the first chapter. Hallelujah. When he wrote about the divine nature, it's inside of the seed. Hallelujah. Inside of the seed is the Shekinah glory. Inside of the seed is his presence. In essence, inside the sea is all that God has and all that God is. Yes, yes. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This is what we are dealing with as being a child of God. We are carrying this incorruptible seed on the inside. There are multitudes of Christians who don't even realize this because revelation knowledge is not being taught in their churches. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This whole message is about revelatory knowledge. It's a higher learning. Hallelujah. Everyone can't get it. Everyone can receive it. Hallelujah. The prere prerequisite of getting on the pathway of it is receiving the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The indwelling of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit is the one who teaches it. Natural man receives not the things that are of God for their foolishness unto, unto him. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Right. What is that spiritually discerned? That's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He opens up things. Hallelujah. That the natural man can't understand. Right. He reveals things that the natural man cannot understand. Paul said we have this treasure. He's not talking about, he's not saying we will have a treasure. He's talking to the saints here. He's talking to the believers. He's talking to the body of Christ, those that accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. He's saying, he's not saying you will have it. He's not saying down the line. He said you have, we have this treasure in earthen vessels. That the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. Can you see that? Yes. Read it down a little further. We have trouble on every side. The devil don't like it, so that's why he troubles us. That's why he attacks us. That's why he gives, puts us through trials and tribulations. He don't like what we got. He don't like what's inside of us. Many of us have it, but it's lying there dormant. It's not, it's not, it's not growing, but yet it's there. Yes. And as long as it is, it is there, even though it's dormant, the devil knows that you are a threat. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. If you have the seed, even though it's lying there dormant, you are a great threat to him. That's why he brings the trials, the fiery trials and the tribulations. Hallelujah. He don't want that 
which is inside of you to begin to expand and grow yes. because he knows what it can become. Yes, 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 yes. He knows what you got. Hallelujah. So he troubles us on every side. But as long as we have the treasure, we're not distressed. Read it. We are troubled on every side, uh -huh. yet not distressed. Uh -huh. We are perplexed. Perplexed. He brings but, perplexities to us. Uh -huh. But not in despair. But the treasure is not despair. Uh -huh. Persecuted. He persecutes us. But not forsaken. But the treasure will not forsake us. Uh -huh. Cast down. Cast down but, sometimes. But not destroyed. But not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus. Always bearing about the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus. Uh huh. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest. What did I tell you earlier? What did I tell you earlier? Inside the seed is the life. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The life that Jesus lived is inside the seed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And inside of that life, inside that seed, is all that God has and is. The devil don't want that to come forth. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why he brings the trouble, the persecution. He don't want it to come forth. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. After you get saved, you can't just sit down and cross your legs. Hallelujah. You can't become relaxed after I'm saved, I'm, I'm sanctified and satisfied. That's, what, that's the attitude of some people. Hallelujah. They feel they made it yes. so they can cross their legs. Hallelujah. Yes, God. I'm saved. I'm out of the world now. I've stopped smoking and drinking. I've stopped partying. I go to church every Sunday. You can't camp there. Right. You can't cross your legs there. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus and I came to give you the life, but not. I didn't stop there. I want that life to be more and more and more abundantly in you. Yes. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Always bearing about the body. Always. Every day, every day, every day. We're on a mission. We're saved. Our sins have been forgiven. Hallelujah. But we can't stop there. Every day, we got to get ready. Hallelujah. Every day we're going to cause that which is inside of us to expand and to grow yes. and to flourish. Yes. Because the more that seed grows and flourishes inside of you, the more you become like Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And the more you become able to do the things that he did. Yes. What did he do? He overcame the devil on every hand. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What did he do? He had power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, he walked with power. Yes. He walked with the anointing. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He walked with deliverance. Yes. All that's inside your belly right now, waiting to grow and expand. Yes. But you can't, can't cross the legs. Yes. You can't feel like you've made it. Right. Hallelujah. You don't make it to the end. Right. You gotta strive all the way to the last breath of your body yes. to be what God wants you to ultimately be. This is what Paul is talking about here. Always bearing about the body. The dying of the Lord Jesus. Self has got to get out the way. Yes. Self has got to die. Yes. My character must be replaced with God's character. Yes. My nature must be replaced with God's nature. Yes. My life must be replaced That's right. with God's life. Amen. Always bearing about the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, then what? Next clause. For we which live. No, always. Always, always bearing about in the body of the dying of our Lord Jesus. Always bearing about in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, then what? That the life also of Jesus uh -huh. might be made manifest. 
The more we deny ourselves, the more that life of Jesus expands and grows inside of us. Can you see it? And the more that life of Jesus grows and expands, the more we begin to act like he acts and respond as he responds. To love as he was loved. Hallelujah. To be kind as he was kind. And defeat the enemy as he defeated him. Can you see it? He put it in us because it would be impossible for us to reach that place without him putting that in us. That overcoming life is inside that seed. But he knows that we cannot fully overcome unless that life grows and expands. Hallelujah. 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 So the Holy Ghost daily teaches us. Pray. Pray. Study the word. Go to church. Hallelujah. Yeah. Study to be quiet. Don't talk too much. Hallelujah. Yeah. If you talk too much, you're gonna say something off. Amen. You're gonna say something. If you talk, y'all. If you if you talk a lot, you're gonna say something to offend somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every day he'll teach you to do the things to cause that life to grow inside of you. Can you see this? Yes. Always bearing the mouth of the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life. That the life of also of Jesus might be made manifested. What does manifested mean? Manifested means to take off the cover. Mm -hmm. Something that is covered by something. Yes. Hallelujah. Something is there, but there is something covering it. Mm -hmm. What is that suffering? What is that something covering? It's this. Mm -hmm. Itself. It's our nature. Hallelujah. Our nature's got to die. That's right. More and more and more. And as our nature completely dies, then that which is within comes forth. Always bearing about in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life of the Lord Jesus might be made manifested in our mortal body. Read it. For we which live uh -huh. always the of Jesus. Uh -huh. Of Jesus' sake. Yes. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. The life also of Jesus. He's talking literally about the life that Jesus lived. Let that sink in. Let, comprehend that. Inside of you is the life that Jesus lived. It's the second plan. He lived that life flawlessly knowing that he would that life would be planted inside of us to make it possible for us to live like he lived we which live are always delivered unto death that the life also Jesus might be made uncovered in our body manifested uncovered yeah. hallelujah in our bodies. Uh-huh. So then death working in us. Death working in us. But life in you. As we die, we get out the way. Uh -huh. And as we die, he grows and lives. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I must decrease so he Amen. can increase. Amen. Can you see it? Yes. I'm almost done today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Get me. Timothy, the third chapter and the 16th verse. My last scripture, last scripture today in part one. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Things we've shared here in part one, a lot of things we've shared, we're going to expand on it. We're going to bring out more on it. As we go on in this series. What did he say? And without controversy. Without. Great, uh huh. Go ahead. And without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. Without controversy. Great. Great is the mystery of 
godliness. We are expounding on something great. Great is the mystery of God. Great, great is this mystery that Paul shared. Great, extremely important. Great is the mystery of godliness. We're teaching about the mystery of godliness. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Read the next clause. God was manifest in the flesh. God was manifest in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. Justified in the spirit. Seen of angels. Seen of angels. Preached unto the Gentiles. Preached unto the Gentiles. Believed on in the world. Believed on in the world. Received up into glory. God. He's speaking of Jesus. This scripture also reveals the two plans. Amen. Hallelujah. God, Jesus, the word. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He came down here and manifested himself yes. in the flesh. Yes. He came down here and justified himself yes. in the spirit. Uh -huh. He came down here and was seen of angels. Yes. And while he was here, he preached unto the Gentiles. He was believed on in the world for those 33 years. And after that, he was received back up into glory. Yes. Yes. Glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they crucified him. Amen. 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 They nailed him to a tree and placed his dead body in a tomb. But his spirit got up. Went down into hell for a mission. Yes. Yes. To get back, to get yes. back yes. the keys of death and hell. Yes. Which Satan took after Adam and Eve's disobedience in the garden. Never in the history of hell had there have been such a light down there. And on that day, as Jesus walked through its corridor. A powerful light shine. Multitudes of demons and imps ran and screamed in terror as Jesus walked there looking for Satan. Hallelujah. When the Lord walked into Satan's throne room, he walked right up to the devil. He snatched the keys. Death and hell. From him. Then he arose from the grave. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He rose from the grave. Glory to God. He went to the apostles once more. Hallelujah. He told them to go into all the world. And preach the gospel to every creature. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, Lo, I will be with you always. Yes. Into, even unto the ends of the earth. Yes, Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Then a cloud came down out of heaven. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And Jesus got on the cloud. <laughs> and ascended back up to heaven. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To meet with the Godhead. Yes, yes, yes. That his life that he lived on earth might be accepted. Yes, yes. It had to be accepted. Yes. And it was accepted. Because yes. it was flawless. Yes. It was faultless. Yes. It was sinless. Yes. It, it was disobedient. No disobedience in it. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. The life that he lived was accepted by the Father of the glory. Jesus went and sat down on his throne. Glory. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? There was great joy and gladness in heaven. 
For the mission was accomplished. The word, the word, the word, Jesus who became Jesus Christ. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God was manifested in the flesh. Justified in the spirit. Seen of angels. Preached on to the Gentiles. Believed on in the world. Then received up in the glory. He sat back on his throne. Yes. And he sat on before the foundation of the world. Because before the world was, he said, I am. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. But there was one more thing to be done. Yes, to complete. Yes, the Holy Ghost stood up. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He took the seed. Yes. The incorruptible seed. The life that Jesus lived flawlessly on earth. Yes. And he took that seed and carried it into the earth. To implant in everyone who accept Jesus as their Lord and Savior yes, yes. in the future. Yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, he planted it there. Yes, he did. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. And now we have this treasure. Yes. In earthly vessels. Yes, God. Yeah. And the ecstasy of the power is not not be of us, but of God. The Holy Ghost not only came to plant in us, he came to come inside of us. Yes. To cultivate it, to yes. fertilize it. Yes. To show us how to call that seed to grow in us and expand. Yes. And we may become ultimately what God wants us to become. Yes. Jesus said when he, the spirit of truth, the Holy Ghost, is come, he will guide us and lead us into all truth. And all truth is that Incorruptible seed, this treasure we have in earthen vessels. Let's give him a clap on. Glory. Hallelujah. Uh, and I thank God and I give God all the glory to reach that one that people look down on, um, maybe not even understand. Amen, Bishop. Yeah, amen. And we had a wonderful time, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. Amen. And the people had a wonderful time. They did. loves you. You yes. don't have to stay in that state of depression. We're here today and we have a living witness, a yes. living testimony. Pray that somebody's heart be touched. We just want to let you know through testimony time that we serve a real God. wants to continue to do a great work. Yeah. My name is Mike Duggan and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie. Watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. 
I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network.